Agriculture is the main source of livelihood for 95% of the rural households in Lao PDR. Almost 80% of this cropped area is dedicated to growing rice. Rice is life for the people of Laos, who have been planting and nurturing their rice fields for hundreds of years. But the land doesn't always give back what these farmers put in. And with a country whose birth rate is the highest in the region at 2.5%, increasing rice production to feed their country is a high priority. In the southern province of Savannah Ket, farmers' fields are continually at the mercy of drought and flooding. Unknown to some, there is a field here which has been privy to a specially bred Lao Modern Variety, or LMV, rice plant. The Nakao village is just one of the many communities which have been part of the Lao Erie research and training project. A partnership between the Lao PDR Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry and the International Rice Research Institute, or ERI, this collaborative project was established in 1990 to assist the government of Lao PDR to achieve their national goal of rice self-sufficiency on a sustainable basis. And for more than a decade of this 15-year partnership with ERI, the Lao people have been celebrating rice self-sufficiency. For Laos, rice makes up 70% of their daily calorie requirement. When Lao people speak of achieving food self-sufficiency, they mean having enough rice to eat. The new technology for the rice production is based on the new varieties, new agronomy aspect, and also increasing the yield. The feedback from the farmer is very important because we, we keep the seed to the farmer. After that, we, we get the information from them. From 1993, we released the, 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 the first variety. Uh, the farmer grow this variety and get the high yielding. Over the course of the project, 18 new varieties were released. They have been so successful that three quarters of the households using Lao modern varieties were self-sufficient or had a surplus in rice, while 64% of the farmers planting traditional varieties were rice deficient. These are high yielding, moderate duration rice varieties which have eerie parentage. These rice varieties would not be there today if it were not for the training and the assistance of the Lao Erie project. Major achievement is Lao Jin Bank because here in this Jin Bank we keep 13,193 uh, traditional indigenous varieties. We have to preserve this for the sustainable use by the researcher and the farmers. To train people to identify and characterize those accessions and to use them in a breeding program, the Lao Erie project has also supported the establishment of a training center out at the Agricultural Research Center at a village called Napok. I think uh, the training is very useful. I have learned uh, English, writing, report, uh, how to collect rice 
for reserve in the cold room. The main thing before going further to disseminate our technology to the farmer, first we train our participants, we train our staff. Although Laos has attained national rice self-sufficiency since 1999, the rice sufficiency of the poor is estimated to be only 6.8 months in a year. In the upland environment of Laos, farmers' rice fields slope across the faces of the mountainside creating more challenges for researchers and the farming communities.